the whole purpose of what we're doing is trying to see what we can get on a minimum of four pounds because you know, that's yep. the minimum that you can put in the steam wallet the the minimum amount you can put into steam wallet is four pounds using any of your payment systems um from that four pounds we went into specials in the store category and switched the search category to the lowest price um from there we bought as many games as we could from the four pound and only the four pound we didn't pick games that we both already had so that we wouldn't get any fresh new games we were more looking for something that probably hadn't been found and it's a hard hard thing to do um so the games we bought are a good mixture very diverse there's a mixture of strategy point and clicks uh rhythm based puzzles um there's even one 3d game which we'll get into Overall, we got a very diverse bunch of games. There. Yeah, we just we tried to pick as many genres as we could, get just different games to have ones that would be okay because there's there's tons of them. It's like the amount of specials that Steam has on every week, and they change every week. There's bound to be something you can find in there for less than four pounds that you'll probably be able to get a lot more out of than you would get some new releases. So yeah, overall. Uh, that was our goal, that was our mission, that is our task. Four pounds, crap ton of games, we play them for 40 minutes each, yeah. give a review of how they look, feel, play, and everything else. Starting off with Crossfire Dungeons. This game, basically chess with an RPG element. Game was good for the first 20 minutes in my opinion, because I actually had to think about it. And then you went and wrecked it. That's you different. wrecked it. You wrecked it good. Look, it's 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 a fun version of battleships at that point. Because you can just kind of break it a little bit if you just grabbed all the archers and then just spammed <laughs> into the fog of war. You just keep hitting until you find something and then just keep hitting it from range because the archers had ridiculous range. I just found it severely crap at that point. I was like, oh... I thought it was um, kind of okay, because I mean, like, what did we pay for it? We kind of paid, I think it was like 79 pence at the time. It's, oh, well, God, it's £2.79 £2. £2. now. God, no, I would never pay that. I think all the games we paid like 17, 17 pence for have went back up to max price. Yeah, it took us so long to get set up for this one, but it's fine. That's not the point. The, yeah, the point is £2.79 and we paid 17 pence. Yeah, at the time we were doing this, 79 pence, I mean, even if that's only an hour you get out of it, it's not bad. Like, I will not go back to this game. This no, game was absolutely. a fresh hell for me because it was just, oh, I, having to run the same dungeons. The gameplay didn't bother me. The, the, the grinding, yeah, it was annoying, but it wasn't overly bad. I've done worse grinding. Yeah, but you shouldn't have grinding in a game like this. It's like chess. It should have just mm. been, oh, you managed to do this much for with only this. Okay, you move up to the next level. No, oh, you managed to do this much with this. Here's a set amount of gold you got out. Keep going yeah. until you get to the next level. What bothered me most is the fact that uh, music, the music was toggable with the, the escape, escape key. Oh my the god! Escape key, yeah, and half the buttons weren't working, and the bloody anytime you died, I mean anytime you died, you were sent back to the start in the first level again. Yep. So. You couldn't save armies, that just didn't work. It was a lie. Yeah. So the game was a mixture of good and bad. Hence why it's got mixed overall, I suppose. Oh god, just, there was only like 36 reviews for this game, but that was the point though. Okay, Cursed. Cursed was decent. Cursed it was, was good. good. Cursed was good. Yeah, it was like, having, uh, just looking at the Steam page, I think the last time it's we seen it, it was marked down. Uh, it? Yeah, but it was marked down to like 70 pence, wasn't it? Yeah, it's four pounds seven, seventy nine. Yeah, so for a four pound game to seventy nine, you're not making a huge saving, but nevertheless, it's a saving because the game is actually pretty good. Yeah, it was decent. It was like it was actually pretty cool animation. I mean, like you jumped at absolutely everything. I didn't find it that scary <laughs> myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big crybaby. Um, I didn't actually have found a lot of it scary, but there was. When I first started out, the moment I you really... went up the stairs, that was because the skeleton was being a douche. <laughs> it um, just shows up. It's not even scary. It's just like that. It's like, oh good, it stands behind a blue wall. Whoop whoop. 
I, I just wasn't expecting horrors at that. Like at that moment, I came into the thing thinking, "Oh, it's a point and click. It'll be meh, ma, ma, crap." But it. Oh, when we got through that gate, through the vine, through the gate, and then he just showed in our face, I oh, yeah. crapped it. I crapped it. It was a little girl that creeps me out. It's just little girls in any game creeps me out. <laughs> It's them and mannequins um, if anything like that ever shows up i can't handle it i can't deal with it <laughs> i mean like this um, game doesn't actually have that many reviews it's only got like 71 reviews 173 overall it's just it's strange i thought this would have picked up more yeah it's, it's it only came out um june 2016 there Yes, I mean, like, we played it for, like, an hour, and we almost got halfway through it, I think, judging by the achievements, but... Yep. Even at that, it was... The game was cohesive, it even has a hint button, which I found very, very handy, because you're not and standing there staring at a wall. I used it, like, what, maybe a couple of times. Use it too much. <laughs> How are you supposed to know that you look at the floor and go, ah, I could punch through the floor with this now sharpened axe that I found this grindstone out there? <laughs> I like how I suddenly had a spark of inspiration and ran down to the stairs to the to the the plants and stuff. I was like, die, die, die! <laughs> I'm a gardener. <laughs> oh. Obviously, the game is like pretty good that way. It's if you ever get stuck, you still have the option of being able to press the hint button. Yeah, so you're not overly frustrated, but you do have that element of yeah, this can this can challenge me because. It's not overly easy. Like I, um, I sincerely enjoyed it. I loved the dialogue, the, the narrating. That was yeah. The theme is amazing. The actors were just amazing as well. That their voices were sure, sure. The the, <laughs> the lip syncing was horrible. <laughs> I can a hundred percent say one thing though. I have no idea why she's there. Yeah, I don't know why she's there, you know. It's like, I mean, that, oh, my like, fiancé is there. Why is he here? Is, is, does, does he have to be here? The path to our fiancé is blocked by ghosts, dragons, demons, and other creatures. Yeah. It, puts, it goes to so that we play this for an hour and we still don't know why her fiancé is there. Yeah, we were just like, oh, the puzzle goes here. It's like, it's very cohesive in every other way. Yeah, Except it's like, that one. You get there, you see ghosts, and they're all like, ah, oh, crap. This, that, you need to go here now, yeah. here now. So basically, they direct you, but they don't tell you why they're directing you. Yeah, it's like, oh, you dig a hole in the place where there's a divot because there might be something buried. So you're like, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Why is she doing this? Why doesn't she just go home? You have made a freezing potion. Go to the lake. Freeze the lake. That makes sense. The gate's not locked. She can leave at any time. She has been attacked by wolves, bats, man-eating plants, a Cthulhu. bloody dragon thing statue. And Cthulhu. Yeah. <laughs> Cthulhu. We are harping in his face now. <laughs> She's seen a blue scale. As soon as I seen that kid, I'd just be like, I don't care who it is. I'm going home. This is not worth it. Whoever it is that's in there is obviously dead. Uh, but overall, really good game. Yeah. Really good. Really good game. Really good game. Uh, strongly recommend if it ever goes in deal again, pick it up because it may only be about two hours, but it is well worth it. Yeah, it could be a bit longer depending on how much you use the clue button. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna let that drop. Clue button. Look, hey, you played in easy mode. I didn't even. I didn't even know that clue button was there. No, yeah, it's just a little hint button. It's just yeah, they... even the menus actually fit in very well to the theme. Yeah, the menu is okay. The map is a bit cluttered, but oh, the map was, the map was more like an event map rather than an actual map. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because it had like branching paths, and there was no way that you could get to any other way going a certain route. So, say you take the pink path, you couldn't get to the yellow path at all. They never branched, never crossed over, not once. You had to all go back to the very start. So, but you did have that fast travel, which was nice. Yeah, the map helped you by, um, if you, as long as you clicked on a place you've been before, you could just instantly flash travel there instead of having to backtrack. Mm -hmm. That was good. That was good. Um, yeah. Next game? Uh, yeah, we said everything we want to say about this, because it has a positive game. It came out this uh, year? Yeah, it came out, I told you, June 16th. Seriously? Uh, I thought it came out, like, maybe last year. No, it's a, it's a recent game. It came out June this year. 
Yeah, okay, well, I hope it gets a lot more views because this thing was pretty good. I'm hoping because it came out June this year that it's not um, been seen that much. Yeah. Maybe. Here's hoping. It's, yeah, and it's, its requirements are all down the bottom, which is a theme of this. So all these games, every one of them, their requirements all seem to be through the floor, except... Except, the except one, for um, one. Yeah, the just, one at the end. I just, just don't know. Okay. So, <clears throat> next one is Dungeon Journey. That was the next one we played. Yes. Uh, we both played this one for quite a bit. I think we actually played this one a little bit longer than we probably should have. I think, yeah, we played it for over, maybe one hour exact, maybe an hour and ten minutes. Uh, I think so. Give or so. But we were only um, supposed to play for 40 minutes, that's what we were doing. The only reason I think we played it more was because we were confused about how to use and how to reach stuff, and then when we started finding the stuff, we, we actually got really into it and it's so addicting because it's so easy but at the same time it, it it's, didn't explain anything it explained nothing so you had to figure it out yourself and when you found something you were like oh <laughs> you felt yeah. proud <laughs> it's okay maybe that's what i should check just now is this game made me think it was for like a phone it's just the style of it the way it's designed it looks like it's for a phone because you tap, everything is essentially mouse driven, there is like one or two other keys you could press, I think it was inventory was I and space was defend, but you could also tap your guy and he'd defend as well as you could go and look in your inventory as well. Yeah, through, the, through using the mouse again, yeah. If it wasn't for mobiles and then got ported back, it was definitely designed with mobiles in mind. And it came out June this year again. Yeah, but this, it wasn't a bad one, it just needs some more polish, some more love. Because I didn't even know there was other characters in the game. Yeah, I found them by accident. <laughs> yeah. And it's, um, uh, you didn't even know you could upgrade your stats. You just thought you could upgrade your abilities. Yeah, I didn't know I could upgrade my uh, strength and, and armor and stuff. I was just like, yeah. okay, upgrade my, my plasma ball attack. You know, that's what I'll do. It is on iOS. It is on iOS. It, it just got released on the 14th of November. It'd probably be better on iOS, I think. I think it probably Maybe. should have released on iOS first. Because this just seems like they had to rush it out. And we paid how much? Nineteen twenty pence or something? I think so. And it's up to one fifty nine. Oh god, it is two dollars. It is two dollars for on a mobile. Oh okay. I was like, what are you talking about? We're in pounds here. Yeah. And that released the 14th of November. That just released this month. It just released last week. What? It released literally seven days ago. Oh, well, that's probably why it went on deal. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, well, it's got a couple of languages to it as well, which is quite nice. <coughs> you don't always see that. Uh, it's apparently got positive reviews, but if anything, this definitely feels like something you should be playing on your phone and definitely not on the PC, because if you send in a PC, you want a different experience than just the... Tap. Yeah, I think on PC, when you purposely sit down at your desk to play a game, you're gonna get you. You are there to play games. That is your purpose. That is your goal, and that's what you're getting sunk into. When you're on your tablet, on your mobile, you could be on the go. It could be. It felt like a game that felt casual because there was no consequence of dying, so there's no consequence of quitting and or sacrificing to get out of the game quickly. So it felt sort of casual. Therefore, if you're on a goal and you're just playing the game and you're like, oh, I need to, I need to leave, you can just die quickly and no consequence. Mm. So it, it felt it should have been on iOS. And now, now that it is on iOS for one week now... Um, it's I'll probably know. going to do better there than it will on Steam. So this one is probably one you should give a pass. Maybe give it a pass. But if it's on sale... <laughs> if or if it's you on like sale it, again, get it on mobile. Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably the best thing you can say about it. Get it on mobile. Yeah, mobile. <laughs> uh, is that is all I have to say? Yeah, game? that's all I've really got to say on it. Because everything else, it was, it looked nice, it felt nice, it just. Oh, felt... yeah, I got got to mention the uh, the art a wee bit. Uh, the monsters and things they were animated, animated gifts from the looks of No, it was. Uh, what do you call it? Not they moved. <laughs> Yeah, they did move, and it was 
3D models? You can't gift models, can you? Because there was a no. yeah, because there was effects related to them, so I don't think you could really gift that very well. But regardless, the good game. It was decent game. Oh, the next game is going to be fun to talk about. This game, I short, short and simple version. It's Pong. It wasn't even that, because Pong, you can have fun with someone else. <laughs> uh, it's it's still 79. It's 79 pence we paid how much? Right. Like 19 pence? I think so. Um, so this game is similar a wee bit. This... It has the same properties of Pong. Okay, let's start off strong here. Let's give it a, at least a fighting chance. It's it sounded okay. 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 It is more of a small executive toy game, but it, it's it's nice. It does what it does very well. It's basic. It's even got a colorblind pack, which you don't normally see. It's usually in these types of games, people don't really think too much far about colorblind people, but the fact they released a free piece of uh, downloadable content for this just to help those who wanted to play it is very nice. It had decent music. It was one of the first games we've had today where it actually had a music slide. Uh, yep. Uh, uh, music audio adjuster. It had three different soundtracks with the option of no soundtrack. It had normal background with epilepsy background. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I don't know why they added that. That it, it probably will give you an epileptic fit and it'll give me one. It gave me a headache, so yeah, it definitely, it definitely gives some people with a uh, history of epilepsy something to be aware of. So if you get this game, don't even risk it, just stay away from the epilepsy uh, side of it. Yeah. Also, turn the music way down. Yeah, it's very loud. And I've got to, I've got to say, the first, the, the, the number one song, number one, I don't like it. <laughs> oh god, no. It's one and two were quite grating, but actually the third soundtrack has got three separate soundtracks you can pick for while you're playing for all of the 10 minutes that you will pick this game up for. <laughs> if you pick up. I don't know if 79 pence is worth 10 minutes. Oh, didn't, I don't know. It I, has, I think it was five achievements, in which is simply getting to 50 as a score. Yeah, we got 30 already, and it wouldn't take too long if you just sat there and did it. So if you want to get a perfect game, this is probably quite a cheap one to go for, but I don't know why you would do that. Yeah, so overall... It did have three control schemes though, which was nice. So it gave you options. It's it was very basic, and what it did, it did very well. It's just it didn't do very much. Yes, yeah, so overall, semi decent, semi crap. It's 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 there. It's simply there. That's what it is. Next game. Yeah. Uh, Revolution Ace. It is. This is a bullet hell. It's actually quite well polished. It was an Unreal Engine, I believe. I think it was the best picker today. It definitely was the most professional engine to do. Because <laughs> I think the only engine that sort of matched that was the Unity engine, and that mm. we know what game played Unity. <laughs> right. um, well, this game, uh, I actually found it very fun. This, I think I will actually continue to play this one. Personally, um, right now it's on a it's actually in a Ace four pack. So does that mean you get four uh, four copies of the game for twenty two pence? Yeah, and it's also the hyper pack is still there, so you can get Revolution Ace, Star Survivors, and Waveform, which is what we did. Actually, so right that's... now it's cheaper to buy four packs than it is to buy one. Oh yeah, one pack. What? It's twenty two pence to buy four packs, and it's seventy nine <laughs> pence to buy one. <laughs> Buy it, play with your friends. <laughs> or there's an even better option here if you don't have friends. You can buy Revolution Ace, Star Saviors, and Waveform, which are three games that we have done today. You can buy them all for 27 pence. There's That deal is still going for another 17 hours as well. The game itself. Now, the music was okay. I didn't really... I don't actually remember the music. If I can't remember it, it means it wasn't memorable. Therefore, I'd say it was just... It was there. Yeah, it was good. It was uh, more like ambient music than it was actual fighting music, in my opinion. Mm. But to be fair, the, the game was interesting enough that you had to focus. 
yeah, I don't I don't remember the music because I wasn't concentrating on music. I was concentrating mm. on avoiding those damn bullets. Damien can tell you I hate bullet hells. Yeah. <laughs> I can't stand them. They, both, they annoy me. We both went very different roads because there was a lot of customization you can do with weapons and such. Yep. Uh, so you don't get shields for a while, but once you do it, the shields are barely noticeable. That's just one of those mechanics that you have to worry about. Yeah, the shield, it's like, the moment you run out of shield, you have a choice. Persevere and kill, or stop shooting all entirely and dodge. Yeah, because after you stop shooting for a while, your shields will start to recharge. Yeah, and as, as you level up, you get access to different shields. One shield recharges faster, the other one has a better capacity. Yeah. Shields didn't very, very much, but everything else did very quite a bit. Because yeah. I was using missiles and... Oh, I was a plasma gun I was using at one point which shot in three different directions it was quite hard to handle but it was pretty nice and you went a different road I did, I went for a laser which I didn't aim, it aimed itself as long as I was close to an enemy but not only did it aim itself I didn't have to be in front of it I could be beside it or behind it therefore the enemy couldn't shoot me so I felt the laser was incredibly overpowered and helped me blast through half half or all the game that was that, that I played so far um, <clears throat> yeah so it, it was pretty good it's, it also had versus modes it had asymmetrical versus modes which means you could play and you could post it to one of your friends or whoever you were versing you could post your score and then they do a couple runs and then they post one that'd be better back to you and you can get notified through steam when they've moved or when they've done another round and then you can go up against them it's pretty good that way because I don't imagine there's many people jumping at the chance to be playing this, but if there's for the few recurring players on this one, it doesn't matter uh, your time zone. Uh, yep, and um, again, system requirements, it's quite low. You could probably play, a, play this on a laptop. Not You don't need a game PC, a laptop would, work, would do it very well. Um, yeah, it has a local two-player co-op as well, so you could play that if you want. We've never done it since we're, um, we don't live together, so we're good. <laughs> yeah, and um, the, uh, the actual sentence for it was one of the first sentences we came across that actually looked like a proper game. game. Sentence. This one yeah. was definitely built with PC in mind. I don't know if it was maybe a port from a console, because it easily could have been, but I doubt this would have been published on a console. But it had resolutions, it had audio sliders for one, which, dear God, I don't know why those games didn't have them. It had the option for uh, Bloom, it had options for... Uh, yeah, it had all the usual suspects the usual you'd expect. PC op options you'd expect, and not only AAA games, but well-made uh, indie games. Yeah, yeah, just had a look there to double check. Yeah, it was on iOS. Yeah, iOS, there you go. Yeah, so it's been properly ported. <laughs> so overall, very good game. I'd recommend it. Yeah, and very pretty right for being on the Unreal Engine as well. Yeah, and right now it's on sale. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. This good game. Definitely the one we found today, so this would be the one I would mark for someone to buy if they wanted it. Yeah, good game. Good game. GG. Good game. GG. GG, no re. I'm not playing it again, though. It's a bit of hell. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Saviors was the other bullet hell that we played. Which... This one was not as well polished, I believe. It was not. I think this it one maybe not. came out before. No, this one uh, came out on the 7th of May 2016. <laughs> that was the day it was released on Steam, as far as I can see. Ah. Uh... Again, this one is on sale at 19 bits still for another 17 hours and is, of course, included in the hyperspace pack along with Revolution Ace, the previous game we were talking about. Hmm. This one um, did have a couple of good points about it, but it wasn't as good as the Revolution Ace. If you were going to get any, I would go for that one or just get it in the pack because it's cheaper than buying Revolution Ace. Hmm. I feel this one was a more classic bullet hell. Yeah. It reminds more, me more of Wipeout for some reason. Mm, definitely more classic bullet hell. As in, like, in the previous game, 
you started off with rubbish uh, attacking things and you had to upgrade your attacks and things like that. This one, you started off with your attacks that are incredibly overpowered. You could go from a combo of one to breakage, which destroyed the game. You destroyed everything, especially on easy mode. Yeah. Um, well, it's easy mode, of course. It's easy mode. Um, the art was fine. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. Uh, music. Was... I actually kind of, I kind of, I liked the music. It felt sort of technoy. I liked it. Yeah, you had a lot more customization and the Definitely. other one from the get go, but in this one at least you got to pick from three presets, whereas in that one you just got the first preset. And you also got three characters to choose from. But oh my god, they're models. Yeah. Oh, three D <laughs> models. Yes. Those was those three D models. <laughs> yeah, rather than being made in Blender, it looked like they all had an accident with one. <laughs> um, the, but overall, if you want a very classic bullet hell compared instead of the other one, then I recommend this one. Again, it's actually got lower system requirements, and uh, what else can you say? It's, it just doesn't have as much interact interaction as the other one did because you had ground and an airplane like two planes that you would combat in as yeah, well as yeah. the bosses in this one all felt very bullet spongy the bosses fights didn't really change much apart from bullet patterns whereas in the oh, I keep going to say Ace Combat, Revolution Ace in that one the bosses felt different every time you came up against something it was different Yeah, you, you handled them different, you were fighting a snake airplane thing, or a building, or a a, a fire dot, a, a sort of ground-based boss that you couldn't only use the ground attacks on. So if you weren't prepared, you're screwed. <laughs> yeah. And this one, it was just simply sponge the crap put them with your weapons and dodge their bullets and then their patterns. It's very classic. So. Um, this one, if you're wanting an older experience, the other, and if you're wanting a bit of something different, I would say because like even the background in that one changed as you were fighting if mm, you launched a nuclear uh, nuclear explosion into the ocean when it went off you could see the actual water plane like dip and separate and you could see the bedrock underneath <laughs> it was pretty good yeah not bad not bad yeah so next game all in all all in all not a bad game just didn't do enough next game we played was space program episode one alpha centuria alpha um, centauri yeah, Alpha Centauri. Okay, I read it wrong. That's right. It's um, the closest star to our solar system. It's quite famous. I don't care. Anyway. Um, Shut. So we played this game, and I just noticed now, now that I have almost all the achievements, so I feel that we were actually quite close to the end of it after playing for one hour. Did we? Yeah. That's we right. have complete act two of episode one, that's what we've got left, and complete episode one. And after we've completed episode one, I'm thinking that's us done. I think that was just one episode. Oh. Close. We were close to the end. Successfully, I know. I wrote, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we only had two achievements left. I didn't realise. We nearly completed it. We nearly completed this game after our gameplay, so it might not be worth it. At a, which is the original price, store page? It was 90 pence when we bought it. Was it? No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. I never paid 90 pence. I think it was, at least. Well, it's way yeah. cheaper now. It was not that cheap before, I don't believe. It might have been somewhere near 30, 40, maybe. By the way, it's, it's on deal right now for uh, 40 hours, so a few days. Mm -hmm. And um, you can buy the complete collection, which is the three episodes, and that is for two pounds, one pence. Not bad for a gate for I'm assuming an RPG maker game. I talk about the RPG maker game. The assets aren't custom assets that the creator put a lot of effort into. The the, the ship itself is very well detailed. Yeah, there's there's time spent in this game. It worked pretty good. It's just it was slow in places. So it slow. was slow in places because it wasn't the traditional RPG maker type of game where there was no combat no turn based combat this game it was wasn't. all investigation it was it was almost yeah. a point and click like the characters had personality like I, I picked it. this thing up expecting an RPG I did not role play in any way it was just click character go here try all the things on this thing till it works so I thought again when I saw this and I thought it was RPG maker I, I expected an RPG turn based fighting game and I got a story basically yeah. not disappointed but story was okay it's going different places than you'd expect, although I couldn't find this overarching thing that drew it all together. Yeah, I was stuck, I was still confused as to why she was trans, uh, transporting three people and one of them was Russian. <laughs> I was still quite confused about that, but yeah. 
They also, the and only then, character they gave a nationality to was the Russian, and they made him evil. Made him evil, and then they killed him. If, uh, he was evil. Yeah, it was cool. like, it, it actually, it was a little shocking to me that he just got shot. I thought there'd be an altercation, but no, she just... Yeah, she's like, don't come closer, bang. Don't come closer, I sh like, he didn't even move. He didn't move, and she still <laughs> shot him. So, yeah, the game had its moments. It made me laugh a few times. And it doesn't like cats. I don't know about the other two episodes, but I will say that one was a little slow. Yeah, it was slow, but I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I probably will finish it just to finish it because I want to know where it ends. Maybe it, once we reach the ending, we'll have a bit of a different opinion on it. Like, oh, we need to get the rest of them, but I doubt it. So overall, decent game. I wouldn't recommend buying it on its own, too short, and probably not worth the money, but in a, in a bundle with all the others... Yeah, I'd, I'd give it. I'd give it a shot if you're interested. Don't. Uh, the, probably the worst thing I've got to say about it is you could get the exact same experience from watching someone play this game. Yeah, you could. You really could. You know, maybe minus staring at someone struggling for ages, wondering how the hell that you can't use a pole and a spanner on something that you have to combine the two items so that you hold them in both hands at the same time. It's, ugh, I just don't. I don't understand that part. Why make extra steps? I mean, I had to close the outer, close the outer door, balance pressure, then open the inner door. Just do it for me. It's it's a cutscene. <laughs> it's why they're there to get really useless and in steps. Next game. Okay, so next game we played Suits, a business RPG. Now um, we played it for about thirty minutes because it was so hard to get into. I just I could, I wasn't enjoying myself this time around. It was actually really hard. I, I, I died more than once. Same here. Um, I also had a little bit of trouble at one point. Okay, I'm looking at the system requirements. This is the first time I've looked at them. Go read them. <laughs> Graphics. Any GPU will do. Who uses sound cards? If your processor isn't an Intel chip, you should be fine. This Additional XP notes, specs, a performance RPG. Sound card, audible. Graphics, visible. Processor, decent. OS, recent. In other words, this producer doesn't give up. No, they did not care, but... When it comes to its art, there's nothing spectacular. It's hand-drawn most of the way. <laughs> oh, what is that? I'm trying to think of it. There was a series I played a while ago which gave the exact same feel but maybe did it a little better. Hold up, I'll see if I can find it. Um, For me, this game wasn't great. I felt this game could have been better. It could have definitely have been more balanced for you come across an enemy too soon who's incredibly overpowered all the all buying items was way too expensive to get just getting a new suit for yourself to have a five point boost to your defense that meant nothing in the later scheme of things was far too expensive completely broke at one point it just it was running at one frame a second and i could not move in any animation and i double checked it wasn't recording uh, it wasn't skype it wasn't any audio or visual problems it was just running really slow and then I seen my CPU was tanking as soon as I turned it off it went fine though yeah so the, ga the game needs it's, it's a little buggy work. it needs work essentially if you were going to play a game it reminded me a hell of a lot of an RPG called Off but Off did it a lot better this one focused around like business it probably should have went for the same art style as Off oh, this art style was weird it was like everything was hand drawn except the characters were all like as if they'd been drawn in paint whereas everything mm. else looked as though it had been literally drawn it tried to be a bit dark and sinister in places, but it was also a little too zany in places, so I got I got lost in translation between those points. For 79 pence as it currently is, I wouldn't recommend it. Even at 79 pence. It... Actually, there's one way I would recommend it is if you'd already played off, or maybe you're really into that kind of setting, go for it. It has had quite a lot of people get it. It came out this year, so it is fairly recent. It will pretty much run on a toaster, so. And uh, again, it is under pounds, so it isn't going to break the bank. But I still wouldn't recommend it unless it was on sale. <laughs> You'll definitely um, get a couple of hours out of it if you go for it, though. You will get a lot of hours out of this, I think. Right, before we even start talking about this one, <sighs> okay. I just want to mention why I even picked it. I was 100% worried that because of other games we'd picked, that we wouldn't find anything that interesting. And I thought, well, a co-op game. I looked for a co-op game. I looked for one of the cheaper ones there was that neither of us owned. So we picked up a game called Girl Amazon Survival. I can't even begin to start where this all went wrong. This game came out this year on the 17th of August. It has 
currently at this point 35 reviews, all of them mixed. We just wanted a fun game that we could play together on co-op because co-op, as we all know, can just save games. Sometimes there's games that aren't fun but the multiplayer can just save it. This game is early access so I wasn't expecting it to be absolutely brilliant but at least I wanted it to play. <laughs> yeah. I wanted it to play. This game is not optimised. This game... It's been in early access from 2015. Yeah, it's still there. And to the best of our ability, what we can guess is this was a student project that got put together because it is very big, there's a lot of assets, it looks half decent. It looks, it has so much potential, I'm not lying, it has so much potential. It needs optimization. it needs the, 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 the models are well done as well, the character models no, you could do a bit more work. Yeah, there's customization. It's just you can tell this it is an indie game, but you can tell this came from a very small group of people who put a lot of time and effort into it. And then something went horribly wrong. Like maybe half of them decided to leave, and just one guy tried to continue this, carrying the torch for the rest of them. Yep, because uh, the map is huge. Although there is no actual in-game map. Well, there is, but there it's... is, but it's just an image. Okay, going into the game, we thought. Right, first thing we'll do is we'll go into multiplayer since it's our first time around, the game will probably have hints, at least give us instructions, tell us what keys are. It did none of that. It dropped us in the middle of the game with a minigun, a flamethrower, a rock, and something else. And we had no idea how to even use them. We were trying to fire them and they just wouldn't go. And <laughs> zombies moved towards us and because of oh because of the bad optimization they were like clipping towards us and then when they hit you you just burst into blood so you can't see not to mention you start over the shoulder instead of first person view which makes more sense in the game it took us about half an hour to figure out if you press v and the only way i found this by the way was just sitting spamming keys i hit almost every key in the keyboard until it did something <laughs> And you weren't searching for first person view, you were searching for a map. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for a map, which I didn't find. Oh, and we couldn't find each other at all on it. And there's a set of missions that spawn every 20 minutes if you fail them. And you can fail them by just dying. But you don't stop being alive. It's, oh, I can't even begin to explain how bad this game was. And it hurts me that I have this on my Steam now. I think we paid, what was it, 120 for this game. I don't care how much it was, even if I paid 20 pounds for this game, I want the money back. That's how bad it was. <laughs> I want that time back. I want my hour back. That was horrendous, because once you die, it strips you of all your gear, and it never tells you how to get any back. It never tells you ease to pick up. It never tells you that you use the WSD to move. It doesn't tell you that left click actually does fire, but in order to fire your gun, you have to reload it first, which makes perfect sense. But it doesn't if you're not told what key does it, or how to do it, or that guns need reloaded. You can play, you can be maybe in the same map, since we never found each other. We didn't have any icons or notifications or even anything at all to, to, yeah. to identify where we are. I can't even prove we if we were in the same map. Precisely, we, could, we couldn't find each other. We didn't know, there was nothing to say we were in the same map. Um, other than the fact that I could use the in-game chat to, and he could, and, and Damon could see it. Yeah. Um, I mean, for uh, all we know, it could have been like a No Man's Sky thing, is he might have just been there, but I couldn't see him. Because we tried to find each other, even though it's supposedly, it's not even co-op, it's versus. Because I would have an objective like, refuel, refuel the generator, and he would have an objective like, destroy the generator. Which <laughs> was severely unfair, because refilling the generator, the thing chugs through the, it chugs through the actual fuel, in less than 10 seconds and you need to fill it up four times and you need to run away find a fuel come back <laughs> you know i have to do is just smash up <laughs> and it's, you could buy the fuel for 150 survivor points and this weird like almost micro transaction store in the escape menu but you get like a thousand points whenever you spawn and you get to pick stuff kind of like cs uh yeah kind of strike kind but, of in order to get half of the stuff to be able to do the missions that you only get 250 points for, you have to spend like 700 to get it. And then when you die, you'd respawn, you're <laughs> naked. And I mean literally naked, like... Underwear. When, yeah. I picked a female because 
Girl Lamb was on survival. I thought that's what we were going to do. I thought we were in the spirit of some things, but you went to do it and ended up in his boxers half the time. And for yep. some reason, she had a bright pink bra and underwear, and it didn't make sense why. She wanted to be pretty. <laughs> yeah, but like, if, I'm not meaning anything bad about it, but if you're going to pick a thing like Girl Amazon Survival, I thought it would at least be like loincloths, because Amazons. <laughs> As well as the game's not oh. even called Girl Amazon Survivor. When you load it up and the actual, uh, oh god, the window bar up the top, it's Rage Island 2. I don't even know what happened to 1. Um, so anyway. Uh, but someone this had game... to make two of these. Anyway, um, this game was uh, made in Unity. So the system requirements aren't overkill, but because it's not optimized, it is overkill. Yeah, uh, the system buggy. requirements lie. Yeah, it it is it does not it's not two gigabyte storage. It's not two gigabyte RAM. It's not two gigahertz of uh, a do uh, Intel Core two. It, it lies. You need more. Yeah. What well, well, even if you have more, I still I still doubt you're gonna get much out of it. Even um, with running on ultra settings to make everything look pretty, when I looked across the ocean, you could see the ocean's textures flying into the sky. This is a second version of this game. That means this one has all the bugs ironed out from the first one, or at least some of them. I don't even want to know what the first one was like. Apparently there's bandits, mercenaries, soldiers, and well, I found animals, but none of those other things I found. I yeah. found zombies and one bear. Bears just fly up out of the ground. The only way this game knows how to spawn stuff is a little dust cloud, and then all of a sudden there's an enemy there, or a little dust cloud, and then all of a sudden there's like a six foot bear just there. The only way to even get any peace to yourself, because the enemies will never stop coming towards you not for a second, is you have to go out into the water because that's the only place they can't follow you. Alright, well, enough of bashing this game. I will end by saying, would I buy it? No. Would I recommend it? No. Uh, would I steer clear and recommend to stay, a bit, stay away from it? Yes. <laughs> uh, just this game. Uh, if it's on sale, still wouldn't do it. If it was one pence, still wouldn't do it. If it was free, I would be insulted. I was get, you were getting it for free. <laughs> I think someone's torturing you. <laughs> um, the game is... I don't want to bash the creators because the game has potential. It, lo it looks like it, a lot of work went into it, but it's just not ready. It's not ready. It looks okay on paper. Like, it looks fine on paper. Looking at the cutscenes, it looks like it could be okay. Okay, so... Out of everything this week, I think both of us can say... We recommend Revolution Ace. That and was if it's on sale, I'd say Cursed as well. Yeah, because Cursed was okay. Cursed was alright. It was okay. Um, so, yeah. we are doing a thing where, out of the 10 games we've played, Girl Amazon included, we are challenging each other to pick one of the games and we have to play it from start to finish, if there is, of course, a finish. So that probably excludes Freebie since there's no real finish. Well, there would be. Getting that last achievement would count as a finish. <laughs> How long can you actually play it? It's an, it's an endurance game. <laughs> an, hour of, an hour of freebie, that'll be our challenge. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I, I, I struggle with 10 minutes. So that, that, is, that, is what we're, that is what we're challenging each other. We pick a game for each other, we play it start to finish. If not start to finish, then as much as we can. Yeah, and until we, we meet up it. the next time. Yep, and we upload it throughout the week until we meet up next uh, Sunday. So are we picking mm. games now, or are we just going to... You can go first, you can pick the game, because I think pick we can it. both agree the worst game of this week was Girl Amazon Survivor. Survivor. I had hopes for that game, and that was probably why i seen it so badly. I think we should do two. I think we should do both, all, both of you should do an hour each of our view of Girl Amazon Survival. Oh. <laughs> And then, of course, the game we'll get picked for. <laughs> that oh, that game has crushed has crushed me. I didn't think there could be a game like that. You you had to have seen while you're playing that that the the gameplay is just not fun. 
You had to have played your own game. I think I would like to see you get as far as possible in Dungeon Journey. Dungeon Journey? I think so, yeah. It's, it's simple, it's addictive, it's easy to get into, there's no consequence of dying, so you can play it whenever you want. Um, sure enough, it's, it's on iOS, but it yeah. wasn't overly bad, and I think you can get to the end of it. Okay, that's my game. Yeah, Dungeon Journey. That is you not going to be entertaining at all, it's going to be so hard. iOS release. <laughs> oh god, if it's an iOS game, I'm going to be playing there for... Bloody no, 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 it's, it is on iOS, but you can put it on your computer, obviously. I know, but I'll be playing it for ages, just trying to do it. <laughs> okay, what are you hitting me with? What are you saddled me with? Oh, you saddled me with that. Just, oh. <laughs> Since Girls Amazon Survivor, you took off the table. I'm not playing it, I'm not playing it. You're playing it with me. We're both going to do another hour of it. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that'll be like a punishment game. <laughs> yeah. Out of everything we played today, hmm, it's hard to pick, isn't it? I actually had I had I to know. think about it. I, I wanted to saddle you with um, Crossfire Dungeons, but even I don't want that one. Oh God, please no! <laughs> yeah, like, even even I, I thought there, I was tempted to. I was like, oh, he'll be here until <laughs> the next time we do this. <laughs> yeah, still trying to go through it, and I'll still be at level one. <laughs> the yeah. first bloody dungeon. Yeah, so I was like, no, I ain't gonna saddle you. Yet. Uh, I wasn't. Th I was thinking curse, but we're both almost nearly done. Uh, Dungeon Journey was a pretty decent one to, to go through. Freebie, uh, an hour of freebie would drive us all mad. I'm not doing survival. Revolution Ace, maybe survivors. Maybe. It's going to be saviors or Revolution Ace. Not the bullet tails. It's going to be one of the two of them. I'm going to be kind here and say Revolution Ace. <laughs> because an that hour. one's much shorter. An hour of Revolution Ace. Yes. Okay. Oh no, it's, it's not an hour. Start to finish? It is we have to complete the game or we keep playing it to the next time we do this. How many levels does Revolution Ace have? Oh, A lot no. less than Saviors. Saviors has 88 achievements. Oh no, sorry, much more than that. It's about 90. It has 100. It's 100? 100. Yeah. Revolution Ace only has 19. Okay, so it's not over bad. Dungeon Journey okay, doesn't even so, have achievements, so I'm just going to need to keep playing it till it's done. Yeah, you just play until you've reached some some form of ending. Yeah, some form of like one stars at the top of that page. Some form, some form of ending. I just play until I've completed all the storyline, I think. Because we are playing story mode, aren't we? Okay, so you got Revolution Ace. Yay. Which anyone else would be happy about, but you don't like them. I just, I can't stand Bullet Hell. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like actual torture for me. I keep going to say Ace Combat and it couldn't be further from it. You. Just because it's got planes and it has Ace in the name. Okay, so, plan for the next week so far then will be... Me and you will be going back and forth between Dungeon Journey and Revolution Ace. Mm-hmm. We will probably meet up on Saturday to do uh, Girl Amazon Survivor. Oh. You brought it on us. <laughs> oh, why did you want us to do that again? I don't. <laughs> right, to be fair, it's the only way to take it off the table. It would have just been unfair if we said we're not picking that. <laughs> we're not picking it. I think that's us, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good for me. Anything cool. else you'd want to say before we go? Um, oh, that is it. I enjoyed this. I want to do it again. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do uh, Revolution Ace and hopefully complete it. I hope I don't cry in the meantime. <laughs> and until then, 